What's up everyone, Ben with the BTC Sessions here and this is your daily session. Hodl the Bitcoin. Before we dive into the news, just a couple quick housekeeping items. Of course, do check out my website, btcsessions.ca. That's where you can reach out to me personally and book your own BTC session. We can chat Bitcoin, wallets, proper security, whatever you need, just scroll down to the bottom and there is a contact form that you can fill out. Secondly, do check out Ledin.io. These are the sponsors of the show and this is where you can use your Bitcoin as collateral to get a Canadian dollar loan and a recent addition, a US dollar loan in select international markets. So uh, if you want to do that, head over to their website. They have a little slider that you can check out to find out how much Bitcoin is required to get a specific dollar amount. Um, and it takes about two minutes to fill out the application. And if you're approved, you will have money in your bank account typically within 24 hours. I tried it out myself a couple weeks back, worked like a charm. And uh, yeah, if you're in need of dollars and you don't want to to sell your Bitcoin to do so, this may be an option for you. They've also got a deal on right now where if you do get approved for a loan, if that's something that you need, they will credit your account with an additional $50 worth of Bitcoin. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive into the news. Now, I'm out here at Buffalo Lake for a couple days, relaxing with the family in between work. And uh, you know, it's beautiful. Spring has sprung and Bitcoin SV is imploding. You know we had to talk about this. It has been a shit show going on. Uh, if you're not in the know, well, you have Craig Wright, who fraudulently claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin and he has created his own coin Bitcoin SV which was actually a fork of Bitcoin cash which itself was a fork of Bitcoin are you following me anyways he's now going off and trying to uh, threaten legal action against anybody that says he's not Satoshi anybody that says he is a fraud which he is and <laughs> They, he's just going after it. So the, the first instance that really came to light was when he put a bounty out uh, via CoinGeek, the website that he's affiliated with, uh, to catch Hodlinot, the creator of the Lightning Network Torch, which I've covered on the show a few times. And he essentially offered $5,000 worth of Bitcoin SV, which who wants that, uh, to dox this person and give away their whereabouts and their name and all of that, which in itself is not okay to do. Um, so anyways, uh, the internet banded together. Everybody said, uh, we are all Hodlinot and, and basically came down the, the ban hammer uh, <laughs> that doesn't want to do anything with this garbage, uh, just came down uh, the whole Bitcoin, not only Bitcoin, but crypto community kind of came together and was like, no, 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 this is not how things go. And so now you have Binance delisting Bitcoin SV. Uh, you have Shapeshift, Eric Voorhees following suit and delisting Bitcoin SV. And you now have Kraken CEO Jesse Powell saying that they are going to delist Bitcoin SV. So it's just kind of started snowballing and uh, you see the price of Bitcoin SV just taking a nosedive. I think last time I checked it was down about 20%, but uh, you know, fluctuates. <laughs> um, and yeah, so by and large, the community has said, we are not going to put up with this crap. Um, Peter McCormick, uh, host of the What Bitcoin Did podcast, very good, you should check it out, by the way. Uh, he received a letter uh, essentially telling him that he had to publicly apologize or he would be seen in court. Well, he responded with his own letter, which was hilarious. I will link to that down below, uh, but basically told them, no, jog on, I'm not going to do it. I'll see you in court if that's what you want to do. Um, and that has by and large been the response from most everybody to these lawsuits lawsuits or they're not even lawsuits yet but uh, these letters that people have been receiving uh, so it's been a very entertaining few days uh, on Twitter here seeing this all unfold and I'm sure this is not the last of what, we, of what we'll hear uh, but it doesn't seem to be going well for the BSV camp and we'll continue to monitor it as it goes. Uh, but with that, let's move on to the next thing that was interesting to me today. 
And that is uh, Satoshi's treasure. So I just read about this today. Essentially, you have a global treasure hunt for a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. And the way it works is the keys to move this Bitcoin have been split into a thousand pieces and you need 400 of those pieces in order to move the money. Uh, so the keys, the, the pieces of the keys are split up and kind of protected by these, these logic puzzles that are scattered across the internet and across the real world. So in some instances, you actually have to go places and actually physically Physically interact with items and, and puzzles in order to obtain pieces of these keys uh, really crazy you see a lot of involvement actually from younger people uh, but um yeah, really cool to see. It's very reminiscent of the movie Ready Player One. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But uh, it, it it's, it's basically what is happening right now. And it feels like that probably was the inspiration for, for this. Now, I want to dive into one last thing, one little fun bit of news. And that is that the Lightning Network, Bitcoin Lightning Network, has surpassed 8,000 nodes and is now has over 1,000 Bitcoin worth of liquidity liquidity on it. Uh, it continues to grow and become more user friendly. So really cool to see the growth of the network. Um, not only that, but in terms of user friendliness, uh, you know, I cover it a lot, but there continues to be new applications brought to light that make it a little bit more user friendly. So uh, there's a new one that just dropped called Breeze. And this is non custodial, which is kind of a departure from what we've seen with things like Wallet of Satoshi and and to an extent Blue Wallet. Uh, but this one essentially takes things like running a node or like uh, setting up channels, uh, you know, putting up your own channels. It pushes that to the back end so that you as a user don't have to see it. It's all kind of automated, but it is non custodial. You're not trusting somebody else with your funds. So I'm still playing around with Breeze. I haven't dove too deep into it, but it does look cool. It does look interesting. And of course, once I've got a good handle on it, I will create a full video for that. But in the meantime, feel free to check it out yourself. Just be advised as with any new technology, limit your exposure when it comes to putting funds onto a wallet like this um, until it kind of is proven uh, through public use. So, you know, just be careful as as with anything. Uh, but for that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for uh, coming out to share the news with me today. Um, I will be back at it tomorrow. Now, if you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the bell notification icon because every time this airs for the first time, I'm in the side chat chatting everybody up. So be sure to uh, get that notification and be here for it next time. And if you all want to help the show, you can, of course, hit my website, hit the sponsor link down below, leaden.io. And if you really like what you saw, you can drop me a Lightning Network tip via tippin.me. I have links for that down below. And if you don't know how, I did a tutorial and I'll link that in the cards. That's it guys. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow for your daily session.